In this problem, we have to find the absolute extrema of this function on this interval. So the steps are as follows. So step one in a problem like this is to find the critical numbers that are between 0 and 7. So you start by taking the derivative. So f prime of x. So let's see. Um, so here, we're going to use the power rule. So 2 times 4 is 8. So we get 8x minus, and then the derivative of 24x will just be 24. And this is not undefined. We're always supposed to mentally check, like, are we dividing by 0? Are there any funky square roots? So we're good there. And then we set it equal to 0, and we solve. So to solve this for x, uh, we can add 24 to both sides. So plus 24, plus 24. So we have 8x equals 24. And looks like we can divide by 8 now. So divide by 8, divide by 8. So we have x equals 3. Good stuff. So this number is between 0 and 7. That's really important to check. So we're good. So this is our critical number. If it wasn't, we would exclude it. So like if we would have gotten like x equals 3 and 10, then you would cross out the 10. You would not. Uh, include that. It's got to be between 0 and 7. All right, the next step is to take your critical number from step 1 and both of your endpoints, so the 0 and the 7, and plug them all back into the original. So let's do that. So let's see. So f of 0 is going to be 4 times 0 squared minus 24 times 0. So that's just 0. And then f of 3 it's going to be 4 times 3 squared minus 24 times 3. I'm going to put this in my calculator just, just to be extra safe. Uh, it's going to be, let's see, I got negative 36 as my answer here for this. And then the last one would be f of 7. Right? You've got to take both of these numbers, the 0 and the 7. So that would be 4 times 7 squared minus 24 times 7. So I'm going to put this in my calculator. So 4 times uh, 49. 7 squared is 49. Minus 24 times 7. I got 28. 28. So now uh, we're done. We just write the answers down. So the biggest answer is the max. So this is the max. And this is the min. This would, these would be perfectly acceptable answers. Uh, just circling it and just saying, hey, min, max. The biggest one you get is the max. The smallest is the min. Now, if you want to write it as an ordered pair, the minimum occurs at 3 comma negative 36. A lot of books, they usually want the answers this way, and a lot of homework systems. And the max is at 728. So very, very common uh, for a lot of like the online homework systems nowadays to want the answers as an ordered pair. However, uh, keep in mind that mins and maxes are actually y values. So the maximum is 28, the minimum is negative 36. This is the point where it actually occurs on the graph, right? These are the points where you actually have uh, mins and maxes. So quick recap, you take the derivative, super easy in this problem, and just look at it, right? There's no division by zero, there's no funny square roots, it's never undefined. You set it equal to zero, you solve for your x. And then when you get here, you just got to make sure it's between 0 and 7. So it is, so we're good. And then you take the answer you got from part 1 and your endpoints, 0 and 7, and you plug them all back into the original, right? Super important. And the biggest answer you get is your max, and the smallest is your min. That's it.